It was nice. So let's solve this probably pretty interesting question. I think this problem is stupid, but uh, still need to can can be make can be, I can make a mid video on it. Okay, so if you are uh, interested in more uh, st strange probability question, you can click the uh, video list below. Okay, and subscribe to my channel, hopefully. So uh, this stupid uh, game is that you have uh, 100 noodles in your soup bowl and then some stu stupid guy who just blindfolded and then you are, and then he will take two ends of the noodle and then collect it. So it will become a circle, okay? And then you will connect until there's no free ends. The number of them formed by noodles is always stochastic. Uh, calculate expected, uh, expected number of circles. Okay. Uh, so so this idea, uh, this problem is uh, stupid. So let me just explain the some simple case. So let's start from the uh, so uh, every time you see this kind of problem that don't afraid of one hundred, you just start at the beginning. So you do the very small case. And uh, once you see the pattern, then you try to prove it by mathematical induction. Okay, so the strategy. Okay, so strategy is usually, uh, this is my experience. So one idea is that you start from trivial and uh, find pattern uh, using your mathematical induction, which is the most powerful tool in the world, <laughs> mathematical induction. So let's so let's solve in a simple case. Suppose you only have one noodle. Uh, let's call e. Uh, let's call uh, e n to be the expected number of n noodles. Our goal is to find e one hundred. So it's you have one noodle, right? And then you randomly choose two ends. So I only have one choice. So it will become a circle. So e because they're connected. So e one will be one. Okay. Suppose I have two. Okay, so now you can see there is a strange thing will happen, right? If you have two, then I, I will randomly choose two, right? Suppose I choose these two, then it will become a circle. If I choose these two, then it will become another circle. Okay, so let's call it one, two, three, four. So obviously that uh, I, 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 I have six choice. I, I have six choice. But uh, if I choose one, two at the beginning, then there will be two circle because one, two, if I choose one, two, then I will get one circle in this one. Then I finally get two circle. If I choose three, four at the beginning, then I, I, I can, I always, I can, I still get one circle and uh, a free one and finally I get two loop. If I choose one, three, one, four, or two, three, or two, four, then I will connect it, right? So you will become this. Then finally become a circle. Okay. So what is this? So, in a, so in, in, in this picture, this is a one over six probability, one over six probability, one over six times four. And uh, in this case, you have two circle. Also, we have one circle and the two circle. Okay. So the expectation value will be E2 will be one over six uh, times two, two plus one over six times two plus four divided by six times uh, plus uh, times, uh, uh, times uh, one, right? Because if you get if you uh, choose this, then you always you, you can only get one circle. Okay, so the answer is what? Uh, so what is this? Uh, four divided by three, right? So let's choose. Let's write this one plus one divided by three. Okay, so this is our e two. This is our e two. Okay, so let's go e three. Let's go e three. Okay, so e e three as this. So I think once we solve E3, then then then, then we get an answer, right? So E3, uh, we have uh three uh we have six choose two, right? So we have 15 starting points. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So E3 will be what? If I choose, if I choose one, two, or three, four, or five, six, so there are three divided by 15 choices that I will that I will get. If I choose one, two, already connected, that I will get one, right? Plus the rest is E2. Now, okay, so now you see a recursion because th this means that uh, this one free end is already connected. Okay. Uh, okay. So now if I choose, if I choose either one, five, 
then 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 I get this one. Then I, I will get x two six and uh, three four. So this situation will be will be what will be. Uh, the situation will be what will be. I still get two. I still get e two right, but there's no one here because when I connect it one and five, that means that these two noodle become a become just one noodle. Okay, so this one plus twelve divided by fifteen because it's the rest choose. So what we have is E2 plus one divided by five. Okay, so E3 is, uh, okay, you, can, you, you can see, right, this term. And then this term connect will be E2 plus this one divided by five. So E3 will be E2 plus one divided by five, which is one plus one divided by, uh, one divided by three plus one divided by five. So obviously that you, you can see a solution, right? So EN will be, Okay, so how do we prove it? Mathematical induction. So proof. Okay, so let's let's prove it. So suppose I get I get da, 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 uh, a noodle, and then my uh, a plus one noodle, and my claim is that I know E n to be I know E n should be this. Okay, I, I want to prove E n plus one, right? So let's prove it. So now, uh, so I now I have n, n plus one choose two. Okay, so e n plus one will be n plus one choose two, and I choose if I choose two n, uh, two n plus one of them, two n plus one. Sorry, uh, if I choose, uh, if I choose n plus one of them, because I randomly choose pair, I choose this pair, this pair, this pair. So if I choose the self self line, which is n plus one. Uh, n plus one noodle of it. Uh, I will get I, I will get e n plus one right? because I will count count that one circle. At 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 the rest, at the rest, at the rest probability, I will get e n. Okay, so this will give me e n plus one equals to e n plus plus one divided by n plus one choose two. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm stupid. Stupid. Because we have two, this is n, uh, n plus one, n plus one. Right? So we, we should have two n plus one. Right? And I choose two of it. Okay. I'm stupid. So it's this. Okay, so because we have n plus one, n plus one, right? So total we have two n plus one, I choose two. And I, if I choose this pair, this pair, that which is n plus one pair, okay? So this is two, um, two n, two times n plus one. Okay, so it will be e n plus, and uh, choose one and the two, and this is two n plus one, uh, two choose two. Okay, so it's two n plus two, two n plus one divided by two which will give me E n plus one divided by two n plus one, okay? So it's one divided by two n plus one. So E n will be one plus three plus two n minus one plus one divided by two n plus one, which is exactly as the general form that we derive. So it's, this is proof the results. Sorry for uh, some stupid calculation, but you know the idea. Okay, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. That's it.